All right, for these problems, we're gonna use what's called the heavy side shifting formula. And to do this, you always have to make sure that both the H function and the F function are both evaluated at T minus C. And if these are ever different, you cannot use this formula. You have to do some kind of rewriting and changing to make it use this formula. But again, please don't use this formula unless you have your heavy side and your function shifted by the same amount. And when they are by the same amount, you just have the exponential factor and the Laplace transform of the function f. And you'll notice that we do not shift the s in either the exponential or the function. All right, so for our first example, we're going to take the Laplace transform with the heavy side at t minus 4 times t minus 4 squared. So we're going to first capture the shifting part of this from the heavy side as e to the negative 4 times s. We now multiply that by the Laplace transform of t squared, which we know is 2 over s cubed. You'll notice again that we do not change the s's at all. The 4's are captured by the exponential, and we have the Laplace transform of the function t squared. For the next example, this one's a little trickier because we have both a heavy side and an exponential and a trig function. So the first thing we're going to do again is make sure that we have t minus pi in all three places with t. And then we're going to go in and we're going to have that exponential factor, e to the negative pi s, which again captures that shifting. And then we have to find the Laplace transform of e to the negative 2t cosine 3t. And we know that that's going to just be our cosine transform. And in place of the s's, we're going to have s plus 2. So we're going to have s plus 2 upstairs, and then s plus 2 squared plus 9 in our denominator. And that will be our Laplace transform right there. So again, the e captures the t minus pi's from the heavy side. The e to the negative 2t creates the plus 2's in both places where s would be. And the cosine is just the s over s squared plus 9. So hopefully that is clear, and again, if you have questions, let me know.